What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we'll be drawing Scrat from Ice Age. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of our page and draw a large circle for the eye. We start from the very top, go all the way around towards the bottom of the eye, and then pull that back up towards the top. And then from here, we're gonna work our way out towards the nose. Let's start from the right side of the eye, start by curving this down, and then out with a short line, and then we'll create an overlap. Stepping in, curve this up, and then down towards the nose. Let's add a half circle along the top of the nose, going all the way around, and then down. Connect the ends with a curve, coming down, and then back up. Let's add in the nostrils. Over on the left side, we're gonna draw a small half oval, going up and then down. Move over and draw that again and then we'll fill in the inside of the nostrils. Now we're gonna tuck the right eye in behind the bridge of the nose. So we're gonna start down here, start with the curve going up, and bending that out towards the same height. Round up the eye, and then pull that back in. Let's go to the top of the right eye, add a fold, going up, and then bringing that down. Now from that same point, we're going to add a fold above the left eye. Starting here, just going up, and then across, just going to round this out, and then bring that down towards the side of the eye. Now let's move down and draw the edge of the mouth. We're going to start over on the left side, just underneath the eye. Start by curving this down, and then across, round this out, and then bring that down. Let's round out the bottom of the muzzle. Coming down, I'm just going to pull this up, aiming towards the center of the nose, and then we'll create an overlap. Stepping down, going out, around, and then in towards the outside of the nose. Let's add those two fangs. Starting from the bottom of this curve, come down and in, and then taper that back up towards the top. Let's add another fang along the back side. Let's go back to the left side of the mouth, step down. We're gonna add a curve, going across and then down. And then we'll bend that back up towards the top. Let's add a few sharp teeth along the bottom. Starting up here, we're gonna draw a V. Leave a gap, we're gonna do that two more times. Now let's go back and add some detail to the eyes. We're gonna start over on the left side. Start with a curve, coming down and then up. Move over towards the right eye and draw another curve. Let's trace the top of the eyes along the inside. So leaving a thin gap all the way around. Bring that down. And then we'll trace out the bottom. Let's do the same thing on the right side, starting from the top. Just going to trace the inside and then the bottom. Now we're gonna shift the pupils over towards the left. So we're gonna start from the bottom left, draw a circle, going around, and just tucking that in underneath the eye, go to the inside of the right eye, curve around, and then down. Now add a small circle along the top left for a highlight. And then we'll fill the outside of the pupil. Now from here, we're going to tuck the ears along the side of the head. Let's start from the left side. Start with the curve going up and then down. Come down and just tuck that in towards the side of the eye. Let's go to the top right side, going up and then out. Pull it down and back in. And we'll add that fold along the top of the ears. Start from this point, come in and then down. And then do the same thing on the right. Now from here we're going to draw on the back side of the neck. Let's we'll start underneath the ear, start with a curve coming down and bending that out. And then I'm going to add a point of fur with a short line coming in. Just round up the back and then come down. Now we want to layer the chin underneath the head. Starting down here, start with a curve coming down and then pull that up. 
Now we're gonna overlap the arm on top of the body. Let's start with the bottom edge, starting from the outside. Start with the curve coming down and across towards the elbow. Add a point to the fur. Curve down and across towards the wrist. Now let's add in three fingers. Starting from the wrist, draw a straight angle line coming down. And we'll curve the finger coming back in. Let's tape the finger going up. Draw a straight line coming in towards the second finger. Now we're gonna go straight out and repeat that process. Going out and down. And we'll trace out the top. Let's add the last finger pointing up. With the tip of the finger. And we'll bring that back in towards the wrist. Now we're gonna follow that same curve, going across and out towards the elbow. And then the arm's gonna get thicker as you go back up towards the top. Let's separate the top of each finger with a curve. Now with the arm in place, we're gonna tuck the acorn in behind. Let's start from the inside of the arm. Start with a curve going up, and around at the top, and all the way around towards the outside. Let's round up the bottom, going up, curve this back down in behind the finger, and go up in between. Let's draw the tip of the acorn with a curve going up towards the top, then it's out towards the side, flatten off the end, and we'll trace this back in towards the top. Now let's close off the side of the body, starting underneath the chin, going out and then down. Now from here we go to the left side and draw on the back. Let's start from this point. I'm just gonna add some fur along the way, and down towards the side, add a small point, continue that curve coming down and then in towards the bottom of the feet. Now from here we're gonna step back, draw a short angle line coming down towards the heel, draw a straight line going all the way across towards the right side. Now before we finish off the foot, let's go back up and draw the front of the thigh. We start over here, curve across, in behind the arm, continue that curve coming down, add that point, curve around, and just pull that in towards the ankle. Now we're gonna go back down to the foot and draw on the first claw. I'm just gonna bend this out and then down. Taper this up towards the top and then back down towards the bottom of the foot. Let's layer another claw in behind. Starting from the side, going out and down. Go up towards the top and back down. Let's go underneath the thigh, curve the foot coming down and then across in behind the claw. Now with the leg in place, we can finish off the acorn. Let's start from the bottom, come down, and just bend that in on top of the foot. Bring this in and up in behind the leg. Let's draw the back foot in behind the acorn. We start from the bottom, draw a straight line going out, and then we'll repeat that same process. Start with the first claw, go up and then down. There's the second claw in behind. And then from the top, come in and just pull that up in behind the acorn. Now in this final step, we're gonna add the tail in behind the body. Let's we'll start from the very bottom, then go out, and just pull that up. Let's add a point, coming down and in with a short line. Go up, pull that in, and then we'll just bend that back out. Let's add another point. Taping this in, go up, and then bend that out. Let's create an overlap along the end of the tail. From this line, step back in, curve out, and then down, go out, and then up. Let's do an overlap. Halfway along this line, go out and up. Now we're gonna curve the tail back in on top of the head, but we're gonna add some points along the way. Let's add a point along the side. Going up and bend that in. Let's add another point. 
going out and down with a short curve, go up toward the top, and start to bring this in towards the head, and we'll add one more point. Bring this up, come in, just pull that down on top of the head, and that's pretty much it. There's a drawing of Scratch from Ice Age. I hope you enjoyed today's lesson. If you did, please make sure you subscribe because I'm posting new lessons every single day. You can also drop your requests in the comments below. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.